Hello, everyone, and welcome to 2018. I'm your good boy, Hamish Radia, here with my main man, Tyler Presley. How are you doing? Feeling good, and it's I'm happy with this hiatus to be over with. Feels good to be back calling games. Sure does. How was your, your Christmas break? I had a blast. I went to go see my parents. I'm sure they were happy to see you. Well, I got a good one for you coming up against a team we haven't played against before this season. Your Dallas Penguins up against the Texas Junior Stars based out, I believe, around Round Rock down in Austin. We came out here for a cool little game. This is game 15 of the Dallas Penguins regular season. Let's see how this one goes here as we begin now. And we are underway here. Penguins hockey only oh, opening face off is just concluded here in Plano. Off a high stick there. And they'll call it down to the other end. I mean, he should have just let it go, in my opinion. So he just caught it in his hand. Pull it face off at the other end of the ice. And here we go now with the face off. In the corner, looks like it's Isa with it. Isa to the other corner, to a guy behind the net. Good D there to stop that one from going anywhere. King was trying to pick it back up off a D guy from the middle. And they're looking to get out of their zone right now. They have it at center. Isa trying to get him off it. And Penguins have it in their own zone, trying to flick it up, but he said no there, and Penguins now take it out. Here is Schaefer. Offside is called. Tyler, he had some momentum going, and then they had the whistle blowing him. That's why you always have to watch the offside. Not, not him, but the other guys going in with him. Yeah, if you don't have the puck, make sure that puck goes in the zone first. At least make sure it goes across that blue line. Oh, switching out of view. And a face off in the neutral zone is won by the Junior Stars here. They're the junior team of, I'm not sure exactly what league they're in. I want to say it's American, I'm not sure, but the Texas Stars based out of the same area of Austin. You need to look that up, what league they're in. Ellis Fan on that clearance. Whoa, it's over here, sir. Here is Neil. Good pass there to Struck. Got taken off him. It's loose. Tyler, how come no one's picking it up? They, I mean, at first you think they're going to go for it, and then they kind of back off. To the center, and the goalie covered that one up. And we'll have a face-off. Here we go with the draw. This one's won by Dallas. They have it in the corner, looking to find open man, but it finds Texas. It's loose. The Penguins defensive zone, Texas has it. There's a shot save made there by your starting goalie for your Dallas Penguins today, Evan Riddle, number 41. Face off will take place to the goalie's left. There's a shot off the draw off the pad of Riddle there. The side trying to get to it. He's got it back behind the net. That puck found an attacker there. Good defense to make sure they didn't get to the front of the net. There's a shot saved at the point. That's toward the corner. Junior Stars have an open lane to shoot if he can get it off the backhand there. Good defending, they got rid of it there. Or should I say him? They got him off it. Cut there by Green. 
I'm gonna cycle it around. Have a high stick there. Ty, what's going on with these high sticks lately? I have no idea, I'll be honest with you. I mean, you we normally don't see this many in this little of time. I will see how many more we see. In the corner, penguins with it in their own zone, looking to feed it up to Ellis. Fed that one up. Here's Neil. Neil in deep with the puck. Almost found something there. Just missed the net though. Got off his stick, but it went off the defenseman. Going up with this, Texas. Junior Stars, he fanned on the shot. Good pressure there. Now can they get at them? Penguins. Takes a shot off the stick and up over the glass and out of play. And just like that, the play was over with. Well, face off coming up once again. And this face off won by Dallas in their attacking zone. Famous looking to try and get a shot off. He's got it on his stick, trying to move around the D. To the middle, no one there. Another chance. He missed the net off the glass there. Trying to wrap it around. And he finds a teammate near the corner or the side. Off something, and it goes to the junior size goalie, and he'll freeze the puck. Those who don't know, these are 15 minute periods. I know I say it every game, but you, from my end, I don't know who's watching, so. Those who don't know, these are 15 minute periods. He missed his hit there. He stayed on his feet. He's gotta get it off his stick though, right there. Uh, at the point. Looks like, there's Murray trying to get it. Fowler at the point. Fowler shoots, blockers stay to the corner. To the middle, the defense saw that coming. Now the Dallas defense with it, in the neutral zone. Kind of feed it through traffic there. We'll see if that works out. We go D to D there, just as the coach asked. Missed the dump in there. He's catching it. Now it's Texas off with it in the corner. Get the puck off there and found a teammate, luckily for them. Here's Philo with it. Philo trying to book it around. He got tripped from behind. So the late penalty beats the puck over. And there's the save made. It'll be a penalty coming up against the Junior Stars for a hole. The whistle's blown a holding call. Let's take another look. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was a definite holding call there. I mean, even we could have seen that one. And you know what that means. If we see it, then the official tattoo probably is. Ty, you gotta do a better job of looking at those. Well, I mean, I saw it that time. I mean, I think everybody knew it was a definite penalty. And it's on time for your T. Presley Sports <laughs> Network power play. First power play of the game. Get in the game. Thank you for watching here on T. Presley Sports. And just to, yeah, we did kind of change the name from PRP to T. Presley Sports just to make it simpler, not as confusing. The channel is T. Presley Sports, so I thought we'd keep it the same there. So this is the T. Presley Sports Network power play. The, the T. Presley Sports Power Play. It's our first power play this game. Thank you all for tuning in here on the T. Presley Sports Network. Here's Struck with it as he's trying to find someone in the middle. He found, no, found no one but the goalie as he was just waiting for it to come to him. And he'll hold on. It's from all of us here at the T. Presley Sports Network. We really hope you guys had a good Christmas. And for those who don't celebrate Christmas, uh, whatever it is that you celebrate during this time, hope it went well for you. For those who don't celebrate any holidays during that time of year, sorry. We hope you're in good health. <laughs> Back to the game, Tyler. Okay. Currently, the Penguins have it on the power play at the point right now, trying to find a slot open to shoot. To the left side, at the top of the circle. 
cross ice pass toward the near near slot there, and that one couldn't find anyone there. Now, top of the circle, Philo. On the other side, finds a man open. Good cut out there by the Junior Stars. It's getting dangerous. Good puck. Slow enough for the goalie to get for it to get to the goalie. Enough for him to hold on. Dallas are just playing the patience game, trying to wait to see if their defense can, can get caught cheating to one side and then go for the other. Dallas wins the faceoff. That's going to enable them to gain control on the power play. The corner, now toward the side of the circle. At the point, you got 28 seconds left on the penalty. Here is Neal moving in toward the slot, but there's enough defense in there to keep it away. Here's Bittner to the point. I believe that's the side with it. Back over to Bittner to the corner. Seven seconds to go on the penalty. The side waiting, shoots off something and wide. Neal and the penalty is over. Getting down there quickly is a, a quick change up there from the bench. Five on five skating now. Currently the Penguins have it still in their attacking zone. Here's the side. Now taking it back around and it's out of the zone. So that's a good penalty kill. They made sure they cut on any passes, especially if there were any that went into the slot. Either they try to take it for themselves or they just let it go by and pressure the attackers. Good penalty kill. Neil, he shoots, wide of the mark. Isa, missed the net. New Stars are going to get it out, but now it's Schieffer. We need to get the puck off the stick. There it goes to Neil. Intended for Schieffer, he's got it now. From Schieffer to Ellis. Lost the puck though. Junior Stars couldn't get the pass over to his man. They don't touch the puck, no bench miner. Schaefer. Now here's Isa with it. Gonna start the offense from solid defense, not a bad idea. Oh, if he picked that up, it would have been dangerous. Here's Isa though, got a little bit of a lucky break. Isa trying to curl in. That puck did not get through. Swing so battle for in the corner. Not back behind the net. I believe that's rushing. Couldn't keep it in. Now Dallas defense. Schaefer, Texas line changing. They're, they're, they're offensive lines. Schaefer, good move. Found no one in front, but he got the puck off his stick though. In the corner, being battled for once again. Back behind the net, they find an open man. The offense with it. Almost got to stick to it though. Who's on the end of this? The guy at the point. Couldn't get it through. That was a good block shot. Fowler's trying to get in sub in position. Texas Junior Stars only one defender to beat. The shot was blocked. Another chance off the helmet, I believe, of Riddle. Or when he went off his glove. Now the Penguins with it. Here's Bittner. And onside, Bittner. Tagging door to the left side. Another shot, say made, and it goes toward the corner. Now back out to the point. Fowler, toward the left side. Oh, he went into him hard there. And it's going to be a delayed penalty coming up against Junior Stars. And I won't be surprised if that's a 2 and 10. He went hard into the boards. Yeah, it's a two and ten. Well, sorry, it may have just been bad timing or unintentional. It didn't look that intentional to me. But when it comes to penalties, intentions don't really matter. If you miss the puck, you miss the puck. If you accidentally hit a guy too hard or hit him in the wrong spot, that it could end up being a penalty, and that's what we're seeing here.
There will be a power play coming up now for the Penguins once again. They were unsuccessful on their first time to convert. A two minute minor and an automatic 10 minute stop up for 40. Time of the penalties is 9 13. Penguins were unsuccessful on their first power play. We'll see if they can convert this time. Marshall's got a Marshall Rushing's got a chance there. So they try to poke away at it's loose back behind, but the puck was loose there, I think. I don't know. Sure the official only has limited vision, but uh, I don't know, maybe he had it and then he just, like once he heard the whistle he let it go. I don't know. It was it was pretty quick. We are a quarter way through this penalty, and we don't have any goals so far in this game, but it's definitely been a level of competition so far between these two teams. I've been liking it so far. To the front. Yeah. And we'll go to a new video. <laughs> When you've got guys out in front, good things happen. Here, when it comes to being in the slot, you really only have just about a second until you get cleared out. And only a second he needed. Yep, stuff like this is... It's just a good tic-tac-toe play in front of the net. Tire plays like that are dependent on getting the puck on the money. <laughs> he sure did that. Offside. Famous is. We're gonna dump and chase here off the draw and from the uh, neutral zone there. Junior Stars get it cleared down. Icing waved off. They find a man. It's a, oh, he's hurt. I didn't catch that. If I get here, some of the boards. I'll look back at the video to see if I got it. Hopefully he's okay. Can't tell who it is. So it looks like he might have got the wind knocked out of him, maybe. Looks like it's Neil. Or no, it's Chuck. Looks okay. It doesn't look too serious. He'll probably be back out later. It's not the worst we've seen, though. That's, that, that, that is true. That is true. Thankfully, no one's been getting hurt a whole lot this this season, as far as I'm aware, from what we captured on video. And this face-off will take place to the right side of Riddle, our left side of the net. Penguins in their own zone. Intended for us, but he couldn't catch the pass. Now it's the Junior Stars. Oh, kept away. They cut it out. Ellis, he's... He needs help here as he's being pressured by the by the defense. Caught to the point, gets it off his stick. It's loose. Gets it in. That's a good keep, Tyler. That's a really good keep. To the front. Couldn't get it in time. It goes past, off target, and it'll be icing. Thomas Pittner again set to take this face off. 
And he won it for his team there with the draw. There's a shot, ooh, a little high up, but missed the net. Bittner, trying to get it to the front, but the D was there to stop that one from going anywhere. Back behind the net toward the corner now. There's a shot, save made, and he'll swallow up the rebound attempt, uh, the uh, rebound chance. And this face stop taken by the Junior Stars, but it goes out of play. Well, try again. And this face off, this time is won by Dallas. Tyus, stuff like that is why if you're gonna clear it, make sure it's low enough to where it doesn't go over the glass. <laughs> there is a height difference whenever it's straight versus when it's curved. Off a stick and I don't, know. I don't know why he had his arm up. It went off someone past the center line there. It was definitely tipped. Ooh, catch in by Isa there. What do we do with this? Send it to the corner. He kept it in. Isa. Isa taking it around. Isa was forced out of the zone. Penguins need to get set up now. Now he can go back in. In on side. And tied up by the D. Now the Dallas defense with it. Andres. In the neutral zone. Now we're in this defensive zone. Going D to D here with Fowler. They're looking to take it back up. Off his skate and Texas picks it back up. It's a turnover here. Trying to get it off him. Pass to the point. Found someone back behind the net. Almost got that one. It's loose. Dallas gets it out. Texas defense with it. In their own zone. And it's down. Whoa! Everything all right? That almost hit me. <laughs> Y'all okay? I think I might have hit the glass over there, the window. <laughs> I guess that's the risk you take when you, I guess that's I guess that's the risk we take when we go up this close to take video of the games. So I've never seen a puck get that close before. <laughs> Icing is called. Well I'll have to find another way to get the puck down. One minute, eight to go in this first period of play. Score is one nothing in favor of the Penguins. One minute remains in the first period. And the PA announcing is why I love that scorekeeper. <laughs> I'm not sure if he watches, watches the, oh, almost found daylight there. I'm not sure if he watches my videos or not, but uh, <laughs> He, it, it's a big help. There's a shot. Is it in? I seriously thought I saw something. What's it? What's the call? Is it in? Yeah, I know for sure I got that one on video. Must have been a really good save. Face off one by the Penguins. Asai clearing down the, the corner. They're trying to find a man. And it's a battle here. 26 seconds left. Here's Bittner in the corner to the side. He's got it. There's a shot, missed the net. Trying 
Trying to work it to the front, couldn't. Now, in the back behind the net, Penguins with it. Trying to get a shot. There's a shot save made, and that'll do it. This concludes your first period of play. Score it is Texas Junior Stars 0, Dallas Penguins 1. Well, Ty, I really like the way these two teams have been playing so far. It's been quite a battle. Um, definitely a one goal lead. something you can't be complacent with. We'll see what happens in this second period. I'm a, this, one's, this one's sparked my interest. We'll step out for now. We'll see you. All right, period. in general, keep an eye on those trends. We get things going again. Thanks, Sean. We'll hear from you again soon. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. But anyways, soon we feel pretty happy about how they did in that first period of play, getting a good power play goal to get them kick-started here in the second period. We'll see what these two teams do in the second period. It should be interesting. And there's the save there by the Junior Stars goalie. Check levels real quick with the... Uh, let's just keep it the same. Okay. And this face-off is taken by, looks like it might be... Oh, it's Dallas, looks like. It's quickly taken away by Texas. Kicked it, coming in by a kick. There's a shot off something up over the glass and a play. Well, that was ambitious. He definitely wanted something there, just wasn't able to get it through the traffic in front. Sometimes it never hurts to hold on to it for, for as long as you can and then find the slot open. But he, was he was unsuccessful that time. Okay. Yeah, I'll move my camera around in this zone. I am all zoomed out. Okay. Usually I can get up to the point. From the net to the point, but eh. Like the the boards to the to the point, but try to get as much of it as I can in a single shot. There's a good pass with Center and ends up in the net for the score. I know this happens from time to time, but that certainly can't help the goalie now. Definitely not, Tyler. You never want it to happen to you. You can see you looking, see his look in the replay where he feels it hit him. Yeah, and I'm sure it's accompanied by a sinking feeling in the pit of his stomach. He'll definitely remember that play for sure. I'm trying to figure out who scored that? I don't know. This is why I like Flip Hunt running the scoreboard. <laughs> Usually, scorekeepers run the music too. So, I mean. What's the call on the ice? The, no, it's not a timeout. What's going on here? I have no idea what's going on. They're not calling it. No goal, no goal on the play. So that makes, that's, I scratched my head at that. It might have been a crease violation or intentional kicking motion. Well, face off in the neutral zone, though. You definitely think the Penguins are going to want to have that one back. Still 1-0. There's a shot by... Jimmy Star saved by Riddle. Here come the Pens. Looks like it might be an Amin Rush. He's got a man on him, though. Texas really going to want to try and tie this game up. You can tell he's kept it in. Trying to hang on to the puck, he fan on the shot. Got another chance, save made by Riddle, and he played it to the corner. And now it's Dallas. 
He's got it. He's got help. There's a shot off something up over the top of the glass. Still in play. Start at the offense from Solid D. Not a bad idea there. Finds a man. In on side. Good puck. He shoots it. A little bit soggy there. Didn't test the goalie much. And he'll hold on. This face off one by the Penguins. Looks like it. Clearly trying to get rid of this. Texas trying to get it out of his zone, but it's a battle here. Gets it off his stick toward the other corner. Round back behind the net. Junior stars with it in their own zone. Couldn't clear it out there. Ty, that wasn't the best of efforts on the clearance attempt. Dallas trying to turn it around, finds a teammate. The point, one timer. End of the glove, but it's loose. I think it may have fallen out of him somewhere. On target, Just keep it in play. If it's a stoppage of play here. Hand pass. I don't know. And here we go with the face-off here. This one won by Texas in their attacking zone. They get it down to the corner. Come chase after it there. Six getting tied up. Bang was taken away, but quick turnover there off the pad of Riddle and over toward the corner. Penguins with it now in their own zone. Off the boards. Kept, oh, never mind. But they have it though, and they are in on side. Trying to get off his stick, but too much pressure from the junior stars there. To the center, found the defenseman. In on, oh, it stayed in. I think it went off the top of the boards there by the junior stars bench. Kept in there by Isa. That was a bit lucky. I think it got in the way for his team. There's a shot saved, Nick. That one's gonna count. That is too much open ice out in front of the net that time, Tyler. And more often than not, this is the result. Yeah, and that's the value of taking those initial shots. You never know when it's actually going to end up becoming the perfect setup. Exactly, Tyler. And more shots on goal meets more opportunities like this. That's why you throw it at the net. Dallas Penguins goals from by number 27, second of the game for Marshall Rushing. Assisted by number 7, George Isa, and number 13, Noah Milo. Same three people. Ah, double trouble? Maybe. Here is Ellis. Good defensive pressure there to keep that one away and it escapes his own. Plays the man. Pretty clean to the officials liking. Played by Riddle to the corner. In the corner, Penguins with it in their own zone. Ellis. 
Who's on the end of this one? We're going D to D. Now to Murray. Murray. End of the glove, he'll hang on. And this face-off will take place to the left side of the net. The goalie's right side of the net here as the Penguins have one another draw, but it might not be for too long, though, as Junior Stars are now getting a hold of the puck. And they're taking it around the, they're shooting it down there. Uh, now Penguins with it. And cleared it out by the Junior Stars here. Off a stick, and down toward the other corner, Junior starts defensive zone. Desai. He stayed in there off the, off the boards there. He's going to go out. Here's Fowler at the point. And pass the D guy. Desai at the top of the circle. Desai waiting. He shoots off the blocker, I believe, or off the arm of the goalie. Looked on target though. The point, he shoots, redirected, still redirected. Oh, what a clearance off the line. Are you kidding me? Tyler, that is good heads up defensive play. Sometimes, as a goalie, you need defensemen. I'm out a lot of the time. He certainly needed him there. Or else it would have been a three goal game. And we're not even through the halfway point of this game yet. Off target, I'm afraid. Texas line changes. Hi, sir. Well, I didn't really find anyone, but it goes back to the Penguins. Under pressure, finds the attacker, it's a turnover. Good stop there. A good pressure, too. That's alert, defensive play. Once they found out it was a turnover, they were back on that putt. Now Junior starts with it in the center. There's a shot off the blocker into the corner. Finds Philo. He has two assists in this game so far. Philo trying to go past, but Good, and goes back behind the net. I said, to the middle, there's a shot save made. Tyler, that's a brilliant save and a brilliant setup too, on both sides. Moving around, there's a shot, just off the outside. Finishes his hit there, and I think he lost his mouth guard. Ugh. 7-12 left. In the period. Ellis. He's got help. Finds man in the center. There's a shot. pass and he sent it right to him just in time. Yeah, he only had the keeper to beat and he was able to get it past him. Good job by the assist man and the guy to put it in. Yeah, a nice job for them both to set up just right and disarm the D. Seven minutes to go is 3 nothing Penguins. Assisted 
There's a shot off the stick. Oh, off the, I think it went off the bar there. It took a weird bounce. Oh. That's a matter of two goals in only a minute and a half. So I'll take a look at this one. He, he really had to really get his knees on it, get some, get really get out of the shot, get some zip on it. You really had to lean in on the backhand. Yeah, shot. I mean, they, chances like these come so seldom this close to the goalie. But once that puck's on the stick. Whatever shot you had to let go, let it go, and he did. It's a timeout for the Junior Stars, rethinking their lines here is we'll keep film rolling like we normally do, like we normally say. <laughs> Have I seen any comments so far? Well, there's no, there's no doubt. These, there's no doubt the Penguins have been more of the offensive team, more of the dominant team on the offense and the defense. They use. They say good defense is a good offense. I think we're seeing that here. Unless they entirely break down, if they can keep this up going in the third period, they may be able to just go on to win this game handsomely. Since we're getting close to 16 and a half minutes, I'm gonna do a new video. And then wrap up. Here we go now. Scoreline's 4 0 in favor of the Penguins. The body's falling here at the center circle. Puck's still loose. Schaefer gets it. Lost it. And number three, Cooper Neal. Time of the goal is 828. Currently in the corner, it's being battled for. Cool. It's gonna pull up our unofficial statistician because <laughs> I missed Flip, Flip's announcement. Ellis scored that off the backhand, and we'll have a face-off coming up here in the zone after after that battle. I think it went to. It's a riddle, it's a penalty here. I know I got on video, I didn't move the camera at all. I'll take a look back. And some words there from the coach. And now it's the now time for the junior stars to have a chance on the power play. Penalty on number eight, Austin Fowler. Minor four for Oh, what's this? Oh, I lost the puck. Go freeze it. Comes against, against Fowler. Coaches are an endless source of information. I say Seth and John Paul now to get the scoop. John, take it away. Tyler Hummus, I appreciate it. During the intermission, I had a word with the head coach of the Junior Stars. He seemed edgy and irritated as he was talking about the predicament they've gotten us themselves into. I then asked him if there was anything or something is something he wanted to pinpoint improving upon. They didn't hesitate. Passing, he told me. We have to connect pucks better and be able to get past the defense using that kind of method. It's a very effective method, he told me, and he hopes he can work on it with the guys in practice. Sounds like he knows what he's talking about. 
Thank you, John, for that report. I'm sure we zoom with that as the Penguins have a chance in the penalty kills. He almost got through a D guy there. That's definitely a defenseman. Texas Junior Stars power play. Trying to keep the puck on the stick, but the defense picks it up on the penalty kill and they get it cleared. He's rushing, cherry picking there. I think it was hand pass. Ty, you can tell he wants a Hattie. I don't blame him. Face off from the neutral zone. Lee taking a lot of turn into a battle in the corner there in the defensive zone for Dallas. And it's picked up by the Junior Stars. Still has it. Finds someone toward the side of the circle. Now, back behind the net, it's being battled for and needs help. The Penguins get it down. And they'll pull, off some, they'll pull off some time on the penalties. We're down to 36 ticks left in the penalty. Alice. Texas takes it back. And on side. Cut out there. We kept it in. Philo, offside. <laughs> and they say soft in the neutral zone here is taken by Junior Stars, I think, is just trying to take it down there, getting some some real estate down there. And the penalties expire. We're back to five aside. Off the defenseman there. Penguins with it. Off of Murray's stick. Junior Stars trying to take it away. Almost found a man. Now here's Murray. He's got one goal today. Green, D to D with his partner there as he hands it off. Net, er, gave it to Alice who couldn't hold on to it. Lost his footing there. Is, I got in the way of someone. If someone got in the way of him, I'm not sure, but it's now back behind the net. Got to the point by their defenseman. Now Dallas with it at center. Taken across the blue line by the Penguins. He shoots one off the pad there into the corner. Murray off a defensive stick and it's being battled for. Neil's in it, Murray's in it. Who's gonna emerge? It's looks like it's Murray in front of the net. Good defense to get that one away. At the point, Texas with it. We kept that one away. They're coming in on an on man rush. Looks like it. Good cut out. Good job cutting that one out. Now, Texas with it. No one on the end of that one. Looks like it would just be a, a dump and chase there as the size clearing it around. He's intended for him, but he was down on the ice. 
Now Schaefer, he shoots one, save is made. And I'll hold on to that, we're down to a minute 46 to go. In the second period, it's still 4-0 Penguins. And we're beginning to near the second intermission. Ah, I'm gonna scream. Okay, this should be good here. And off we go with the draw, won by Texas initially. The Dallas picks it up. At the end of it all, oh, good poke check there to get it out of the zone. Philo, trying to move it around. And it's out of the zone, or out of the rink, I should say, out of the confines. It kind of did go out of the zone, but it'll be a face-off in the zone. And we're going to go into this draw here. Something wrong with the net? Something in it? Just in the netting? I don't know. All right. <laughs> Marshall rushing and set to take the draw. Junior Stars win the faceoff. It goes to the Junior Stars goalie, and he'll hold on to that one. We'll have another faceoff coming up. Rushing and it's set to take the draw again, and this time in the other faceoff circle inside their attacking zone. Dallas wins this draw off the draw. That one is a block shot off of Philo there. Off the defenseman. From Philo, off the defenseman, I should say. Offside. They didn't leave the zone. On the face off over here to Riddle's left side, our right side of the net. And this face off taken by Texas. There's a shot off of Riddle there. Penguins taking it down, kind of coming around. Finds a man, what a hit! You serious? Are you kidding me? Tyler first they hit and finds a man. They use a little bit of luck and they found the back of the net doing it. I they. What else is say? I mean, oh my goodness. I mean, when you use your offensive capabilities and a little bit of luck, <laughs> you end up with a score like that. And don't forget the D guys too. I mean, they've been really killing it. Assisted by number 77, George Isaac, and number 27, Marshall Rushing. Goal scored at 14.07. seconds to go in this second period. And this, this has been quite a one-sided game, especially in this period. It's been quite the period so far. A number of goals. The one side that is, it'll be icing. Uh, so we'll have a face off at the other end. And this draw is won by the Junior Stars. They have it at the point, that shot was missed. Off a stick. Junior Stars back with it, they're in on side. Oh, almost off there. Behind the net, Junior Stars. Here's Green at center. 
finds his man. He needs to watch that stick. And that'll do it for your second period of play score. Texas Junior Stars, zero. Dallas Penguins, five. My goodness, Tyler, have these guys really shown what they can do, especially on the offensive end of the ice? But then again, you you can't you can't overlook the defense as well. I mean, any chances that their opponents have had, they've been able to squander and then be able to take it down. I'm really liking these guys. I'm really, I've really been liking the way these guys have been playing. And as long as they don't break down and they continue to work as a team, they'll be just fine for sure. Well, I'll do it for the second period of play. We'll step out for now. We'll see you in the third period. Tripod and off we go. I'll try and adjust this thing to whistle. Oh, he's playing it. No, I want him to freeze it. I can't. My camera's not in the tripod yet. I'm just holding on to it. Because my tripod is kind of using it for leverage. Off you go this third period. The Penguins seem to feel pretty happy so far going into this. There is a whistle. Okay. Let's screw this thing in. for a second as I line this thing up. Okay, there we go. Alright, now we're going to try five. There we go. Okay, now this looks familiar. <laughs> Had to change the battery. I was running short on time. Golly, those intermissions, they go quicker than you think. We're now underway with this third period. The score is currently 5 0 in favor of the Penguins. They're just joining us. They're playing against the Texas Junior Stars, based, I believe, out of Round Rock, which is just north of Austin. Fan on the dump. They're battling for it. Oh, off the top of the glass, and it's still in, but it's icing. I don't know if I got that on video, but it hit the top pane of the glass, a very thin edge, and it stayed in. <laughs> going to adjust. There we go. Let's get a little bit of lights in, a little bit of a tiny, tiny bit of the ceiling. We should be good with that. Okay, yeah. Off we go. Penguins at the point off the draw. Off something off the pad there. Of the goalie. Finds a man. There's a shot. And found the glove of the goalie and he'll hang on. And since it's a five goal lead in the third period, it has to be at least five goals. Run time has commenced. There we go. Junior stars in their own zone, taking it down. Goes through an opponent. Finds a man. Gonna move around. There's a shot. Save made. Now a missed. Go, go, go. They're battling for it. Penguins pick it up. Penguins across the blue line. Penguins in the other corner to the point. Green shoots with it. Oh, 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 almost found daylight off that redirection. D. D. Ellis. There's Ellis. In on side, Ellis. They're battling for it uh, in the in the zone here. Emerged by the stars, the Jewish stars. And on side, but not by much though. Junior stars with it. 
There's a shot off the pad. No, I don't got cut out, but Gina you know, starts picking back up. Here's rushing. Good game for him. Two goals and I believe an assist as well. Ooh, good pad save there. Still in play though. In the corner. Good pressure there. There's another chance off his own teammate. Looking to shoot it and it finds Riddle who will hang on. We're gonna throw down ice level. John Pummel's now ringside with a report on the game. John, take it away. Thank you guys. We'll do it. While they were at the bench, I chatted with the head coach of the Penguins. Having a lead was nice, he claimed, but it wasn't good enough. They want to go home happy. There was still work to be done. He told me that he, that he was a little bit happy, though, with how his team was doing, of course, with them being in the lead and such. But there was one point that he stressed the most. Finishing. Finish your checks, finish your shots, and they want to make sure they finish this game with the lead they now enjoy. And then he told me that he's also really happy with how his four checking lines have been so far. It's been the difference maker in this one and it's what's been giving them the advantage so far because it's given them shots after shots after shots. Guys, we'll see if they continue to execute his plan. Thank you, John, for that report. Let us know if you hear anything else. The corner. Alexander. To the front, that was off the pad. There's a rebound, doesn't get through traffic in front. I think it went off someone into the corner. The point, there's a shot. That one didn't get through. Now, Junior Star. That was off the stick of Riddle. They both play the body and not the puck. <laughs> now, here's Schaefer. Fast miss. Intended for Herrera. Herrera. Got taken down there. What a physical game so far. Been a number of hits. Schaefer. Here's Neil. He's got one assist. Finds a teammate. Penguins. Here's Murray. To, oh, almost found someone, but a good poke check there by the goal. He made sure that one was kept away. And the says, get that one away. But it's offside, I think. And this face-off will take place in the neutral zone. Here is Neil wins the face-off for his team. Fowler getting it down intended for Neil, but it missed him. Arms up, it'll be icing. Well, they almost got to it, but it wasn't enough. Over here now to the Penguins' defensive zone. Riddle preparing his right side of the net, our left side. That one was a good cutout clearance attempt. This looks like it's going to be a penalty coming up here for a cross check against the Penguins. No goals yet so far. The junior stars really need to get something going. This is a good time for them to really make sure they at least net something. Rather than maybe save their dignity. I don't know.
And this face off is won by the Junior Stars on the power play. Penguins, penalty on number 34, Christopher Green, a minor for cross check gaming at 9 Rushing on the penalty kill. Junior Stars take it back and they're looking at back check as quickly as they can. Puck is currently loose. Junior Stars pick it up. We're going to pass it to somebody. Finds the Penguins there and they get it down the ice. At center, it's loose. Penguins trying to skate off of it but couldn't. That went out of play uh, into the Penguins bench there. All the face off probably coming up in the neutral zone. T minus 447 and counting. No icing. Penguins currently on the penalty kill. Not only is it a good way for them to kill a penalty, it's also a good way for them to kill off some of that game clock. Time is on their side, especially with them being up by five goals. I mean, the time will stay on their side pretty much 24-7 if they can keep this five-goal lead that they have. Yeah, but also, I think they really want to make sure that they keep any pucks out of their net. They'll definitely want to take this one with at least a 5-0 way, and at least keep that zero up. I know I would. Here is a battle, and Texas Junior Stars emerge off of it. Off the official skate. Getting it clear, but a little too high there. And it goes out of play. Must do better from there. And I think the penalty is almost over. I think I'll have to get out once the uh, face-off goes. Since, since it's a penalty with a clock on the scoreboard, I think he has to get out during the play. If he's in the box, there's no clock, he has to get out a whistle. Now he's out and they'll line change. Up by intended for Murray, didn't get to him. Herrera, now down to the corner. Oh, I thought, at least I thought. Now it's Murray. Sick going inside there. Ooh, dishing out a little educated hook there. That means he's not gonna pen, that's, I mean, that's just, gonna, that's just a little, hey, wait for me move. Oh, good puck movement there, but he didn't get to the attacker. Found Riddle and said, you know, hold on. Just under two and a half minutes to go. Still, the run time continues to wind down. 2.20 left in the third period and counting. Those that don't have the run time kind of acts as a bit of a mercy rule. It only occurs if there's a five goal deficit in the third period. So you won't see it in the second period, even if it's a five goal deficit, let alone the first. Only the third period. Whoa! Some contact here. This is a shot. Say made a rebound. Oh, he swallowed up, I guess. Rushing, kind of flipping some pancakes there as he tries to give it to the officials. Minute 35 left. So we'll have a face off over here as players eventually get set to take the draw. So I would think that the junior stars will really want to get set. I mean, sure they're down by a bundle, but I mean, still. You just never know. Penguins now at center. Junior stars trying to look a little bit upset, I think. It's I kind of gave it to him there. And we're just nearing the one minute mark here in the third period. One minute remains in the third period. Time will be surprised if the Penguins just try and wind down some time. For the left side. Oh, almost found daylight there, but he missed. 
40 ticks left. Todd saw that they can keep the zero up on the scoreboard for their opponents. There's a chance. Good save by Riddle. Right now, 28 seconds left. Will we have another face off? Time's currently counting down. Looks like we'll have another face off here as the linesman blows his whistle for the draw here. 11 seconds. Junior Star is taking the shot. Same made by Riddle. And you can call it there, ladies and gentlemen. Bangers will take home the win, five to nothing. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> that will do it for game 15, won by the Penguins against the Texas Junior Stars. Final score, Texas Junior Stars zero, Dallas Penguins five. The Penguins put together a mean combo and I, it, it, today it's just trumped over their opponents. Five goal deficit says it very bluntly, I think. Uh, Thomas, what do you think was was in their recipe for this one? Well, Tyler, they were able to cook up a nice win with that the ingredients of strong forward checking, being first to the puck, good passing, but you also can't forget what the boys in the back did. They were dominant. That means the other team is on the chase of the room for the majority of the game. And they were able to cook up a nice, oh, whatever you think is good, I don't know, salad, mac and cheese, eggs, whatever you want to think of it as. But I bet it's gonna taste good. Well, Victor always does taste sweet, doesn't Hummus? Well, we'll quickly go to a new video here to wrap up the rest of our comments. Anything else, buddy? Well, Tyler, like I said, they were able to use a little bit of luck too, and they were able to put home the win. Nice game overall. Well, it looks like that'll conclude it for this broadcast here on the T Presley Sports Network. For Hamas Rodia and all the crew, I'm Tyler Presley, signing off to you from Plano, Texas, here on the World Rink. Until our next game, this concludes game 15. Until then, I wish you good afternoon and candy bars.